planes that aimed for American soldiers during the Vietnam and Korean War are a part of a big U.S. aircraft collection in Pueblo. KRDO News Channel 13's Carl Winder spoke with veterans who say seeing the aircrafts bring, bring back mixed feelings. It's new at 6. They're Russian planes that are past their call of duty. Now have foreign national aircraft, the opposition aircraft, the MiG-15 and the MiG-17. Veterans say they bring back memories. Well, the MiG-17 was the one with which I was most familiar would be Vietnam, uh, was just a speck in the sky. They also won't forget what the war machines would do to them. They'd send MiGs out after us to chase us off. Occasionally people got shot down. Veterans say even though these planes were attacking them more than 30 years ago, they're happy to see them because they can teach people the significance of the enemy planes. Is to let them know what these aircraft are, what they represent, and the men that flew them. Volunteers at the Pueblo Wisebrod Aircraft Museum say it took three years and close to $15,000 to get the planes. They also say it's another way to honor the veterans of those wars. This is pretty much our sign of respect, actually, for the veterans who fought in Korea and Vietnam. This gives the public an option to come in and actually see what those airmen were facing. Even though these are enemy planes, veterans say they're in friendly territory so people can learn more about the different roles during the Korean and Vietnam Wars. In Pueblo, Carl Winter, KRDO News Channel 13. Workers say they should be done putting together the planes in two years. Veterans are also trying to get more Cold War era planes bring, bring, brought back to Pueblo.